Welcome back. My name's Nick. And I'm Corey. Today we're watching your favorite movie. Up, up, and just up. It's, it's just, just up. up. Yep. Just, 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 just up. Just up. Some of you may have heard of this movie. Some of you may live under a rock and have the intelligence of a squirrel. If you want to see the full uncut, uncensored version of this video, you know where to go. Patreon.com slash Nick and Corey. Link is in the description. Sign up and pay us because I want you to. Yeah, you, Thank you. You pay us monies, we give you... Diarrhea. Funnies. <laughs> One or the other, it's a coin toss. Retired balloon salesman. Balloon salesman. Uh, a balloon salesman. Balloon salesman. He must be good at blowing things, if you know what I'm saying. Carl Fredrickson, part part rascal. Oh my god. And part dreamer. This is like a Tinder bio. <laughs> part rascal, part, part rascal, dreamer. Part rascal, part dreamer. God, this gave Corey inspiration. He's gonna change his Tinder bio tonight. That's such a phrase. Takes to the sky by trying by tying thousands of balloons to his house. Unbeknownst to Carl, a young wilderness explorer named Russell becomes an unexpected stowaway on the journey they never expected. All right, let's go. That was one of the best descriptions I have seen to a movie we have read. You could have more painfully and slowly read that, could you? Oh, just in case you didn't know, I've seen this movie once before. Yeah. We are going to be crying a lot. Oh yeah, this movie's <laughs> sad. This movie very sad. This is probably the saddest series of events that has happened in any movie ever. <laughs> it's a little sh** Russell. Not that, that was funny. Children hurting themselves is always hilarious. You hate children? <laughs> it's not that I hate children, it's that children that hurt themselves is, like, they hurt themselves, so it's okay. That looks this, condemned. This screaming is giving me an instant headache. I had like a pre-building pre, uh, headache, and this just activated it. This kid Mom. is just stalking this girl right now. He doesn't even, like, she doesn't know he exists. Does she have no, oh, she has awareness. Don't you know it's an exclusive club? Only explorers. Only losers are allowed in here. This little girl right now is like the definition of actually. Yeah. You and me, we're in a club now. Imagine making friends like this now, as a near 30s man. This doesn't happen. If someone just randomly gave me a button, I can't just befriend them. I would think that they're trying to sell me some meth. Have you heard how people used to sell before it was legalized? They would sell you a sticker for $50 and it came with as a gift, because you could gift them. That makes sense. I would do that. That's a businessman move. Ah, uh, yes, put on your safety goggles oh. so you can fall down a full <laughs> That will protect your back. Oh, no. Here's my collection of human hair. <laughs> If someone I had your entire family's toenails in a single If someone drawer. had this many prerequisites before they showed me something, I would think they have someone's heart. Yeah. A decapitated head. If I came up to you and I said, hey, I gotta tell you something, but you can't tell anyone. You're like, okay. And I was like, no, 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 promise me. You have swear. to sign this NDA. Like literally, like I, I will stab you right now if you tell someone. People have been complaining that we don't pause when we talk over it. Fuck you, people! I'm kidding, I love you guys. I really enjoy you. We can multitask. I will narrate everything that happens so you don't realize no, that no, no, no. No, no, no. She no. just showed him a book about that guy, Jiminy Cricket, uh, grasshopper butthole man, who died and lost at sea. He, he got lost in the jungle for 40 years or some shit. And they're talking about she has a book of Paradise Falls. She wants to go, and that's her dream. And now it's his dream because he's a horny little that was quick. They and skipped. Married. They skipped like twenty years. Yep, because the rest doesn't matter. This, this is the equivalent of your friends on Facebook. People no longer post any updates about their lives unless they're getting married, new cars, divorced, new that house. That was like a shocking death. wedding. That's the house that they cre wait. So they're telling me in the thirty years that they met as kids to when they got older and married, nobody has lived in that house. Yeah, they bought it and invested into it, Corey. Gosh, guarantee less people were depressed back then. I don't think they knew what depression was. Yeah. Oh look, a baby! You know well, that that's convenient, because you know what else has a baby in it? They making one. They're planning on making one. They did not they failed at making have a one. baby. I cannot believe they put this in a Disney movie. Yeah, that's... At least it's like, abstractified. That's a, that's a heart-wrenching thing to happen. Uh, like, I... When this movie first came out, that... Uh, bomb drop. This guy isn't a very good salesman, is he? You know what I like? Wait, about? So they never tried he's, to have a he's kid. He's got again. a million ties, one shirt. One shirt. And it's gotten gray over time. Look at it's that swagger. Dirty. No one ever talks about this. He has the best hair for like an 80 year old man. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, he's not wearing a bow tie today. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Ooh. Every or no, he's wearing a bow tie. He's not wearing a regular tie. Bro. Fucking sad. Why, man? Why are you building up this fucking first miscarriage, then death? Dude, what do you do now that you're alone? You have no kids. You're old as fuck. Ask any elderly person that lost their partner. And have nothing else? No other family? If you're like my grandpa, you just find another one. Oh. Make new kids, Mr. De Niro. No. Having a kid at 79? Uh, not that young. Well, we've come to the crushing reality that is sadness. Yes? How do you tie a regular tie? Oh my god. Oh, that house is worth like two <laughs> It's worth a lot. <laughs> That house is worth two trillion dollars. You know when the entire land around your house is going, it means that they tried to buy you out. Tell your boss he can have our house when I'm dead. Now you see shady businessman from Shady Oaks takes that as a challenge. Oh yeah. When I'm dead means we will poison you, old man. Doesn't sound like much of a challenge. He's the prime suspect for falling down the stairs with seven bullet holes down his- You know it'd be awful? Is that these construction people have the ability to cut his like cable line. Yeah, on accident. <laughs> over and over and over again. I could walk you across the street. No. I could This sounds like a fucking NPC that's giving you side quests that you don't want and you just keep spamming no and they keep popping up on your map as big exclamation marks. And then at the end of all of that, they swap the yes to the no so you accidentally click continue. Yeah, you keep more. spamming no and then you hit yes and you're like, oh Oh, this kid is a smart one. This kid is fucking AI. Oh, he opened the door. I must have to start over now. Oh. Oh, he cut him. Oh, blood. Well, there's blood in a Pixar movie? Why is everyone staring at him? They ran into his mailbox and then the guy assaulted him. Whoopsie. The guy tried to steal his mailbox. Neo, we've tried. We've been trying to connect to you oh. about buying your house. Oh, he's in court. Does he lose the house? So somehow a bonk on the head got him in trouble, and I don't he know- He assaulted someone. Eh, assault Assaulted. Assault, assault a schmalt. That guy had fucking ketchup- he, he, he had it coming. That guy had a pack of ketchup in his hair. Imagine that was on purpose. Bamboozled. Imagine Agent Smith, businessman number 11, said, hey, accidentally run into the guy's mailbox. Accidentally get into an argument trying to put it back. That make him like bonk you. Meme. Make him bonk you because you know he's an elderly mm. old man with agitations in him, that, and he's gonna take it out. That is American. And meme. then you use mm. the bonk to send his ass mm -hmm. to jail. That's right, boy. See, mm -hmm. that sounds like a con. That sounds like something they would do. Good morning, Mr. Fredrickson. You ready to go? You know when two men with very awful haircuts come to you in doctor's outfits? That's a bad sign. That life's going in a good direction. I don't understand the exact series of events. I don't know how he's getting like forcefully moved into a retirement home. I guess because he's he, a criminal. Because he bonks someone and is like, you're a public menace now. We need better care of his house. Oh, he's been planning this. Okay, he must have an underground helium factory. That's what I'm saying. Whoever his helium seller is, they are very rich. Also that string to lift the house- He's losing some. Has to be made out of fucking like oh, yeah. vibranium. Vibranium. Yeah, if the string attached to your balloons is stronger than the pipes connecting your house to the ground. <laughs> Where's the shit pipe? Where, if all the di the old diarrhea just yep, seeping out of the house, just... and if it drips on that guy's head. <laughs> but he was like, ah, oh, I forgot about that snipe, and just he shoots all the bullets. <laughs> Assuming the physics behind this was real, this would be a very fun idea. Isn't there a theory that he's like insane and this is all in his head? That's more believable than- He tied it all to his furnace? The fireplace is holding his entire house together? It's me, Russell. I need my badge. Good job. Let me in. No. Ah! <laughs> the curmudgeon has gone beyond petty and into- Just, just takes one murderous. old grump. Yeah. He's like a puppy. He's a puppy in human form. Why is there a trumpet on the back of your backpack? Cause he's- this kid is peak annoying. He's got like a bag of holding for- Hey look at your stuff! There is no way in hell you're expecting me to believe his TV works. That'd be nuts. Oh shit, that's the steering wheel? What- what is that? What is this mechanism? 
God, this kid needs to die. That's nice, kid. Would you enjoy having a hearing aid that you could turn off? Oh so my just... God. I wouldn't enjoy the process of getting a hearing aid, but if I could do that, that would just make things significantly easier for me. Look. You know, lightning, that I'm thunder, thunderstorm clouds probably is a, a big uh, whoopsie daisy idea there. Oh, it's a, a tad worse than a whoopsie daisy, lad. What do you even do in this situation? When I'm in a, when I'm in a plane going through the this, I pray. If you're in a house with balloons? This is such an unfathomable situation that like, I don't even have like, my imagination is just not in line with this. You know what I mean? What, you can't predict what would happen here? And a flying house that's floating off of balloons that could lift like 1% of this house. I thought you were dead. I'd probably rather be dead than be a hoarder. Okay, so we know Russell has no CPR badge. Russell has no brain badge. He should have a zero IQ badge. Took a nap. Uh, <laughs> I think the word is passed out from low blood pressure. It's my wilderness explorer GPS. GP what? GP what is this? You have a flying magical house and GPS is foreign to you. We'll never be lost. Yeah. Good job, kid. I love how this movie is throwing things at us. Like this kid has the answers, but he's never the answer to anything. Yeah, this kid is the fucking problem. <laughs> we can't be close to the ground yet. Oh, smooth landing it. Keep going, keep going. Oh no, the foundation of his house. Oh, oh his house is going away Rip. without him. That's the Suddenly he pipe. doesn't need his walker anymore. That's the shit pipe. I think the adrenaline pumping through him at the moment of losing his house is probably enough to make him walk. I know this is scary, but this would feel so good. Oh yeah, you get that deep <laughs> snap, crackle, and pop. Chiropractor could never pop your way. I know just hang, back hanging on a pull-up bar in my house, like my back feels pretty good. This would feel amazing. Also, I love this Captain America moment where he's holding his house together. That kid has God strength. <laughs> or he weighs and like 40, 40 tons. <laughs> he's got his iron boots on, his iron boots badge. Malala Paradise He's probably dead and hallucinating. It's probably in that. That's, I think that's the, the, the side story of this movie is that he's been hallucinating the whole thing. That's the most believable headcanon. It's that when he was flying away, he's sitting in his chair, you saw the giant uh, pile of pills. He just takes his medication. He just OD'd on fucking. I don't even know if it's OD. Back pain it's, medication. It, it's, he probably took like, uh, I don't know, Alzheimer's schizophrenia medication. You have to take it old age to like help your memory. But like he didn't take them because he went away. He doesn't have a psychiatrist anymore. So maybe he's like just kind of losing it. He has that grumpy old man protection. Yeah, Th this movie cool. is good, but I I'm trying what, to- What, the realism is not immersive yes, for you? Yes, it's, it's breaking my really? immersion. Really, the idea of flying house balloons and travel to mystical South America land is and not And then realistic. cutting the balloon ropes with your keys while holding the house down that's being lifted. The, okay, the only way this movie works is if this house weighs seven pounds. Looks like it. So, I guess what we're supposed to understand here is that this house has been calibrated to the most perfect buoyancy of not moving, going up or down because it has the right amount of helium balloons to gravity. Which is controlled by cutting off balloons and then if you want to go up again, I have no clue how they you don't. You, make you make, that happen. You make more balloons somehow, but he ran out of helium maybe, or maybe he didn't, I don't know. That's it's, a wild turkey. That's the Roadrunner Wily Coyote. The Cyclops Coyote. Whoever made these traps didn't calibrate them properly. That's a dog. He got that dog in him. That's another dog. He does not have that dog in him. He definitely does not have that dog in That's him. That's a dog. Sorry. <laughs> what is that? That's not a dog. A wild colorful turkey? We call them peacocks. A wild colorful turkey. You're in the wilderness, just go. This kid is a literal paperweight. Imagine just ending statements with a, like a, a term of uh, education. Just France like, is far from the United States. Geography. Snipe. What makes you think that's a snipe? Zoology, period. <laughs> period. You see random three-pronged footprints and be like, hmm, it's an imaginary animal I've never heard of before. Hmm, this is poison ivy. Where did you get that chocolate? He's prepared. <laughs> 
That bird is very gentle. Any other bird I know of would just bite everything, including his finger. Come on, little snipe dinosaur demon bird thing. Holy f***ing sh That's not a peacock, Corey. Do you even remember that? Snipes? Y yeah, from this movie. I knew it was a big part of it. I didn't remember it was that big. We have a lot of colors. They do indeed. This guy's like, ha ha, this dumbass kid. Y'all just keep saying yeah, so he shuts up. <laughs> Wholesome. Okay, That's so mama bird. Animal. Mama bird. These things' body proportions are. It's built for a flight the same way that house is. If not, <laughs> if not friend, why friend shaped? <laughs> it's not built for anything else. Definitely not flight. Look at that one. That one looks like a dog. Ho ho! Rock came to life. I remember dog. You mean Doug? No, this dog. Doug. Oh, that is Doug. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, the simplicity of a Doug's mind. Whoever Dog, made Don f Whoever made the voice for this AI did their job right. We better tell him someone took the bird. Is this an island of talking dogs? He talks like an old Victorian man. Mayhaps you Mayhaps you have decided to ignore that I am the high chain of command. Squeaky little voice dog. Did Kevin bring his new family? No, this is gonna be Alpha. You can't have those cute little doggies come and intimidate me like that. I'd pet them. Here comes the true one, the Milanois. We will thank you to our leader. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? What is the bird? Is it food to them? Oh. The dogs? It's a snipe. It's a magical bird. Yeah, but what is it for the bur for the dog people? They, they want it. Why do the dogs speak? Did, did, I, did, did I black out and miss something as to why there's No, they just don't dogs? explain everything in the movie for you because you have to listen. This is like in um, like a Spartan movie. Like they have the guys on the wall with like the spears. Dags. They're all like mildly intimidating, but like they're also cute. None of them are like incredibly cute or incredibly a intimidating. Human? A non-dog person? Does this person know Mr. Carl? Wait, I thought it was Jiminy Cricket. So, Fredrickson- The kid's like, I have no idea who that is! Fredrickson was like eight when Charles Muntz went on an adventure and he had to have been like a man. So like 20-something. That so, means that if he's like 80, this guy's 100. Yeah, this guy's a vampire. And he also has hair! What kind of goddamn genetics do these old men have? You're telling me that a hundred-year-old man not only has hair, but can walk? This off-brand Tony Stark built Nothing but dog speaking devices for his dog army. Oh, he has a blimp. <laughs> this man is Tony Stark. He built a blimp and talking dogs in a cave Sir, with a I, box of scraps. I am so confused. I do not like color shape. He is the only dog that is cute shaped. All the other ones are like mild and poop shaped. Like he has no intimidation factor. He is golden. That that's a giant sloth. That looks like uh. The Corey, are you just? I'm pulling shit out of your ass. That's a diceratops. Yeah, you're pulling garbage out of your ass. Dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. What is dinner? Dog food? Aw, uh, you're fixing it? Aw, that's so much worse. Just because I said them back to back doesn't mean I mean, the same I'm thought. I'm so <laughs> lost that you didn't even dent that much of my perception of what's going on right now. I actually have no f***ing clue. What do you mean? Two Why old are there men, talking dogs? Two old men sit in a cave, reminisce about the old times. It's not a cave, this is a blimp. The blimp is Why in a cave. Why does the blimp have dinosaur bones on it? Why doesn't it? That's clearly a Kevin. Oh, that's the snipe. Oh, that's the plot. The plot, thi the plot happens. It's thickening, it's like a jello mix. It's like, it's becoming. It's becoming. Yeah, the viscosity of this plot is starting to finally get a little bit goopy. This dumbass kid, bro, is giving away his friend. This old man must be pissed. Imagine this. Imagine you've been tracking this mythological creature for decades. Some dumbass kid who won't shut up comes in, says he found it within five minutes of living here, and he says the reason that they like him is because he has chocolate. The most simple, stupidest <laughs> thing that anyone could have had. And this old man is like, you're telling me, in the 80 years I've been here, the only reason I haven't found it is because dogs don't like chocolate and therefore I've never had chocolate. And so oh, I just haven't thought about why? it. That's why? I'm just, I'm uh, No, honestly, you're, you're piecing together. It's not that dogs don't like chocolate, it kills them. So he's like, I have banned chocolate from my kingdom and you're telling me chocolate is the one why thing. Why does he have a talking dog kingdom on a blimp? 
with dinosaur bones on it. They're not on a blimp, they're in the blimp. And the blimp happens to be in a cave. The blimp is more like a home base. Imagine like a, a wrecked ship. And my confusion is appropriate this time because there's no valid source of reasoning here. And maybe it's because I need to level down my mind to like a little kid that's watching this movie and imagination is just driving the whole- Look boat. at all the heads! He collects the heads of people who come and try to take his stories. Or take his snipes. A botanist cataloging plants. Why do they all have aviator? Because they're all adventurers. That's the adventurer hat. This man's like, you goddamn telling me that this bird actually has been following them. And they just bat and away from all- I would be beyond furious if I was this old man. That's more than 23 dogs. Okay, how could the other man keep up with the blimp, a flying device, with this man's balloon house? Think about it. There's no way a blimp could fly better than a balloon house. The blimp doesn't fly. Why does the blimp not fly in the balloons? How else can? The blimp is a home, how many times do I have to tell you this? The blimp is a home base. It is just in the mountain. Why are the dogs talking? Why aren't they talking? You ask too many questions. Why do they have a video receiver on their collar? Because, that is helpful. Why wouldn't you? What is Kevin? A bird. How many more questions do you need me to answer? Oh, you know what they say about houses that float off balloons and lose a bunch of their balloons, right? It, it'll still fly because magic. Yes. We need to cut some weight. This kid weighs 40 kilotons. That would kill that dog. No, a dog wouldn't kill his friends. He was just petting them with rocks. The bird is all brain cells right now. Kevin, just jump! You're on a floating house! And it's going without you. Whether you want to or not, it's going. Go, 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 go! That would hurt quite a bit. Well, Kevin's a bit weighty. They all just jumped in the They're water? Fine. It's his water. <laughs> Wait, it was literally that dog that was weighing them down? Yeah. But this 400 pound bird is perfectly fine? The shot prior to this made it look like they weren't gonna make it. Even what's though we've lost a lot. What's wrong with Kevin? He got bit in the leg. Are I don't think Russell knows anything about helping people. <laughs> he's trying his f***ing best. No, 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 I didn't actually help you uh, at all. <laughs> just use your face as the other leg, Kevin. No, 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 don't move. I, I know it looks like I helped you. I haven't done a thing. He's with them. He helped them escape. I, I would change that one's voice. That one annoys me. Mm. Yeah. That's why they have a GPS tracker screen. Hey, go, oh, the blimp does fly. Tractor beam. Uh, it's actually a UFO. What Honestly? Is, wait, what's causing the wind? It's not a helicopter. Why is there so much wind? The dogs are flapping their fucking wings, bro. I don't know. Light his house on fire. Okay, you sure. Whore. Why didn't he just throw that in the house? But that works too. He wanted to give him extra time. Start at the bottom. That's done, little bro. Oh, that that's popping fast. Wait, how would you put that out? You don't. Ellie's gone. You waited a long time to have a reaction there. Is that the old age or is that the suspense of the movie doing uh, that? Old man versus army of dogs that's ignoring him? Oh, they're taking Kevin. He made his choice. He gave up Kevin for the house. He, he put, put a fire out? I don't believe it. Only a few of the balloons popped and he put a fire out through this jacket? Why Why would you even get a fucking? Why would you call the fire department? Call Mr. Frederickson, Frederickson, who should have been the fireman chieftain. He is the most capable old man to ever live. I mean, he did it. If he could, he would. Beachfront yeah, property. Those memes. Call the void. If he wanted to, he would have taken your house and dragged it all the way to South America with a balloon, blah, blah, blah. You didn't earn any of those things. <laughs> Get fucked, Russell. You order that off Amazon, Alibaba. They're all fake. <laughs> oh, you pilfered her his balloons. Okay, so now Russell's a Fortnite character. Ah. Russell just dies. He's like a tooth fairy. He just like disappeared into the clouds. Yeah, lift it. Lift it with your old man strength. Ah, the problem is the weight. That's it. That's the obvious issue. Throw out the stuff in the house and Let's the house will fly. Let's get rid of part of the house. Yep, don't need that. I only have one outfit. Don't need clothes. Why would I need that? You know what would have been really sad? <laughs> is if this was realistic and he just dumped all that shit out and it still didn't fly. <laughs> If it was realistic, literally none of this fucking movie would happen. Those Asians at the start of the movie would have long poisoned him, he would have died in his fucking house, he'd get bulldozed, and turned into a standard corporate American city. How many solicitors does this man have while he's flying? That dog is adorable. I feel like a master pet relationship 
is a little bit weird when your dog can talk. But if my dog could talk, I don't think I would have a pet, like a master relationship. I'd How probably the f did that around. just happen? What do you mean? He bumped into the, it. But it was open. He bumped into it and closed it and then bumped into it again? Yeah, he's an idiot. Okay, that's fair. These dogs just happen to be there. I'm armed and dangerous. Small male man. That's a good insult. Small <laughs> male man. It's so stupid, but I love it. He kind of looks like a mailman. He's got the outfit. A mailman honestly is a boy scout without badges, if you think about it. They wear the same outfit. They're always going on adventures to different people's houses, but they just don't do anything I, don't, I else. wouldn't call that an adventure. It is an adventure. Is a plumber going on an adventure to check imagine, out your toilet? Imagine delivering mail to a really dangerous part of town. Imagine being a mailman in like downtown Chicago versus like, I don't know, Minnesota. Damn, fucking grandpappy is... It's got the schmooves. Doug Dude, they are a coordinated team. They're they're convenient, I would call it that. I wouldn't say coordinated. Aw, he went from the beginning of the movie of letting him die on the front it's, porch of the house. He's running with his walker strapped to his back? Yeah, like a gun. Is, is, is him using the walker just him saving energy for when he has to... Uh, he had to nerf himself. He used the walker and his, let his muscles atrophy so he couldn't be too strong. <laughs> Now he uses it as a weapon. That's that's my entire canon. That uh, this is why people think that the whole like theory of this movie is that it's in his head because like he's getting progressively stronger as this movie goes on. He lifted a house. He now can walk without a walker. Doug is brain dead, as all Goldens are. Yeah. Well, they get distracted easily. Who wants the ball? It's not just golden retrievers; it's all dogs. I like that they can talk, but they're still the same intelligence as dogs. Yes. <laughs> I got it. Oh, we've been bamboozled That's by the oldest trick in the book. The slow realization of, oh no, you used my weakness against me. <laughs> Good job, Russell. You want to help, but yet you've made it worse. I've had plenty of moments where I drop something and it's not going- What the is happening? That's okay. why this feels like a fever dream. Yeah, all of this whole movie is happening in the imagination. There's no other explanation. Simply put. <laughs> Okay, this is fantastic. Chiropractor. Yes, just use your butt to do things. That lever does what? It rotates. A lever in the middle of the blimp rotates blimp. <laughs> sure, why not? Is this the- th So when you're designing the blimp, where are you gonna put the th 360 rotate button? He's like, what? Why do you need that? I want a 360 rotation lever <laughs> in the middle of the floor of my blimp. <laughs> Next to the <laughs> steering wheel. <laughs> what does you it see? do? It turns the blimp like a, a an arrow spinning through the air. You see the steering wheel steers the, the blimp like this, but the lever steers it like this. Why would you ever need that? I want it. Have you heard of plot holes before? <laughs> <laughs> Cone of shame! And his buzzer got broken. When the alpha dog has the cone of shame, you don't no longer have to listen to him. Ooh. Daddy. He beat him in a fight, so now he's the alpha. He's trying to climb? Yeah, his pull-up strength is really there. useless. Just just sit there. Just borrow some of Grandy gr God Granddad's power. Oh! Oh shit, all he needed was a little bit of motivation. The motivation to protect his bird wasn't enough. The fact that there are dogs flying in old school propeller planes shooting needles at people is just beyond me. That's... <sighs> Those dogs are dead. Nope. Okay, good. If they didn't have that parachute, that would, that would have been dog. Bonk, 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 dead. Where did the house come from? Oh, the, the kid's a professional pilot now when he was an imbecile before. <laughs> did it... Hey, I know this is the first time flying a house, but can you just slowly drift it next to this blimp? It's really, really hard to do, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah, I can't even walk in a straight line, but this, no problem. Wait, with a, a rifle, he shot like 80 balloons out of this thing? Okay. Old man strength. Once again, the Captain America moment happens. You're telling me that he is holding this, this entire house up? Wait, why did he just walk past him? He has other goals. Is his only goal to kill this bird well, he needs before to, he dies? He needs to stuff it and take it back to a museum, yeah, I guess. Ha! 
I traded you the blimp for the house. This is what happened in Tarzan, by the way. What? The old hunter man at the end of Tarzan got caught in vines. Or in this, he got caught in strings and went to his death. Yes, look at your house, fall into the abyss. I mean, think about it like this. You upgraded from house to blimp. So Blimp with talking dog army. Yes, you have an army of talking dogs because Doug is the alpha. Wait, he's wearing the sash. It's <laughs> just that has like a motivation. He is the scout father now. I, I just like to think, was there a tactical reason he put it on or was it like a motivation? Yes, it was a tactical reason <laughs> to hold his f***ing walker. I just like to think maybe the spirit of Russell's optimism carried me through this moment. Wow, baby Kevin's are cute. Oh, yeah. I'm very confused though. Why are you confused? What is there to be what confused about? Did it be confused Have about? you not been following this movie? It's very clear. Random pilot house, talking dog, mythological bird that likes chocolate, and also random objects. What is there not to get? That's character development. I am lost in the f***ing sauce, little bro. I, I think that's Ellie's old hat. I like to think. I would like to think that's Ellie's old hat, but it's probably not. Okay, so now they just get to go on a forever adventure? I guess. What do they eat? You know, they have not eaten a single thing this entire movie. This whole thing took place in eight hours. They flew to South America in a plane in less than a day. So, Jesus Christ, take a bath. Did he, did he get dropped off straight from the blimp to here? <laughs> they just cannoned him out. He's like, why is there gunpowder on you? <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm here for you. Can someone please take this random homeless man and get them <laughs> out of here? <laughs> Let's go, Russell. Get back in the van. The flying van. That is the most assisting the elderly that is anyone has ever done. <laughs> yeah, I just helped an elderly person cross the street. Well, you know, I helped him over, uh, overcome his lifelong fear of, you know, not chasing his dreams and overcoming depression and loss of his wife and also going on an adventure and finding a mythological creature and uh, mastering a talking dog army and uh, defeating a villain. Yeah, we're gonna need Narcan. This kid's on, uh, on boatloads of heroin. This man is a goddamn scientist to figure out how to make floating objects just stay static he, in the air. He's just the buoyant boy. The, the buoyant- The buoyant boy. <laughs> That's his superhero name, buoyant boy. The house just parked itself on the f It's metaphorical. It looks nice that way. It's a sad and cute movie, but by God, it makes no f sense. It's supposed to make you feel things, man. This, is a, this movie is about chasing your dreams and friendship. And a, a little bit of Honestly, overcoming really, well, really sad I'm just, shit. I'm just gonna leave it at, hey, this is like a kid's imagination having fun. And it doesn't need any explanation. It doesn't need any logical, it doesn't need any holes to be poked into the plot. If you have any dreams exists. that you're trying to chase, go ahead and do that by hitting that like button because it's gonna help you overcome your dreams. And if you really wanna make sure you achieve your dreams, then you be like one of these good boys and girls in the patron list and you go to patreon.com slash Core and you support your boys and watch the full uncut uncensored commentary of us being confused watching this pile of buffoons He's take confused. heroin together. I got, I got it. He's confused. I'm just, I'm, I'm a grumpy old man yelling at clouds right now. That's what you I are. am. You are, you are. I identify with Russell a little bit more than I feel comfortable with. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.